We've been in this world over 800 days and we're still sleeping in our starter house. We're also kind of starting to outgrow our storage room. So that is our tiny house and that is our storage. Some of the chests in here are really full now and there's nowhere to put my shulker boxes. So I think I want to build myself a big Minecraft mansion. So right now we're on an island and we've got all of our villager stuff on this side and our zoo on this side. But I've left a big gap in between those areas. So let's use that to clear some land for our mansion. Once we've got rid of the trees, we need to do some flattening. Oh, now that we have a beacon, we should be able to insta-mine the stone away. Wait, it doesn't look like it's working. What is this? Do I need, like, efficiency 5? Ah, that's probably it. Okay, I don't even know if we have an efficiency villager. Uh, respiration. I'm breaking. Silk touch. Feather falling. Protection. Wait, hey. What's going on in here? Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, we don't have an efficiency villager, but we do have 45 levels. So maybe we can do this the old-fashioned way. Let's try our luck. Oh, efficiency. Okay. Easy. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's so fast. I don't think I've ever had this before. And now we've got this huge cleared out area, we can start making it look nice. Luckily, we've collected a lot of stone because I want a lot of stone bricks. The mansion's going to be elevated, so we've got two staircases going up. And then at the top, we cover everything in stone. Now we have the stairs and the platform, and we actually have the outline of the building. What we don't have is a nice retaining wall or anything decorative over here. But I think we're going to put the build in first. Most of the resources for this are all ready to go, but let's just top up on a few things we might need more of. We'll start with clearing out our amethyst geode, since we'll want some amethyst for the roof. Then we're off to the mesa to get some terracotta. I want purple and red terracotta, and while we're at the mesa, we should probably go through to the end portal. We're just going to do a quick trip into the end to get some purple. Wait, why am I getting advancements of things I've already done? Are we going to get the end advancement? Yep, looks like it. Weird. And then we need to go through here and get, oh, chorus fruit. Oh, this is so satisfying. I love it. Okay, we do have some of this stuff at home, so hopefully that'll be enough. In the portal, no. Ow. Finally, that only took like a million tries. We need one more thing. I want to use azalea leaves. Okay, we're all organized and ready to go. I think we've got all the blocks we need. Oh, and we want a crafting table. I've roughly planned out the shape of the mansion, so it is going to be symmetrical. And there'll be kind of three towery things. So one here, one in the middle, and one over there. In the middle is kind of an entrance way, so we've got pillars. And we'll bring this one and this one up really high. Then we'll get our spruce sword and make the side towers. Okay, so that's the three tall towery parts of the building. Two on the end and then dark oak in the middle. And I did the sides too. But now we need roofs for them. Let's start with the middle. Actually, I think for all of them the roofs are pretty much going to be the same. Which is this pattern of stair, full block, stair. In the middle we can have fences. Oh yes, I do believe this will work. I also made a little balcony here. I thought maybe we could use lectins for this. They look kind of dumb from this side, but hear me out. From this side... Oh yes, I like that. That looks good. And then we need to do something with these in-between sections. I'm thinking we mostly divide it into little window bits. There, okay, I think that'll be good. Especially once we've got more greenery. Perfect. Okay, I think that's enough of a plan in place so we can just kind of go for it with the walls. I won't lie, 
I have had more than one creeper come out of those woods and end up on this platform while building. It's a problem, but I think I have a fun solution. I mean, I guess a normal person would just light up the woods better. But this is more fun, I think. I want cat guards to keep the creepers away. We haven't tamed a single cat in our world, and I think it's about time. We should have some in the village. We usually do. There used to be heaps. Oh, I see one. Wait, I don't have any raw fish. Uh, I don't even have my sword. Okay, we need to get our sword and get salmon. Ah, there you are. Come here. I only got two fish. I don't think loading does anything. I guess that makes sense actually. One fish can only be one fish. Kitty? Hello? Did it already despawn? Wait, I hear, I hear cat sounds. Oh, there's a different one. Hello? Come with me. Yes. Again, another advancement I should have already had. Interesting. Okay, you can go here. I'm gonna scoot you a little bit closer. I wonder if I can find a couple more. <gasps> Kitty! Wait, are you just the same as the other one? I guess we can have two. Come on. And you can go on the other side of the door. Then I wanna just check, sometimes cats go through the portal. So we might have luck in the nether. Oh, there's a ghast. Ah, no! Sheesh! Bro. Okay, where did all the cats go? You guys seen any? We actually had no luck in the nether, so back to the overworld. Maybe I'll have more luck with a completely random village. Oh, like this one. Oh, a cat slightly different from the other ones. Now with our creeper problem solved, we should probably get back to the build. Oh, but we need funny little guard names for these cats. Like Sir something or other. So if you have any names, let me know. And in the meantime, this build is looking very ruthless, but I have a plan. It's going to be similar to that gradient there, but also with purple. So let's make a roof. The outside is done and it's looking so pretty. I love it. You can barely even see it from this angle. Let's go over here. Oh, it looks so good. Look at it from here. Okay, now I guess we should work on this outdoor area. What are we gonna do here? I really don't have a plan. I guess we need to do some kind of retaining wall. So we'll strip these and then I'm hoping spruce will work for this bit. And then we also need some kind of stone lip. And some fences and greenery. There we go. I did end up going for stone for these because I kind of like that it's just one giant stone slab. And I really like purple for a pop of color. I want to use that on the inside as well. But first, let's put something here and over there. I'm thinking maybe we could try a little pond or fountain. So something like this. I don't know if this will be the right size. Just see. Oh yes, actually, I think that's a really good size. And we'll dig out this bit and put water in. I also think it'd be nice to have sea pickles and lily pads. I also want to add some lamp posts and hopefully help light it up. Okay, that's four lamp posts and I'm thinking the final thing out here might be some benches. Benches in and I think that's everything out here done. Although I'll show you what we need to do in future. So if we come over here, the mansion exterior is done, beautiful, but I'm not sure about our method of getting there. I have just been flying there, but we've got this temporary path. And then I also thought that we could have a path going around both the sides and connecting to the zoo and the village. And I want to fill in the gaps of more buildings so that this whole island is surrounded by stuff. So I think dealing with this area will come soon. And then of course, we also have the inside of the mansion. It's very untouched, very ugly, but we need to brainstorm ideas for this. I think what we definitely want to do is put in a second story. So we'll go ahead and add dark oak all around here. And this is what we've got. So it's a staircase going up on both sides to two rooms. I think we'll have one of these as my bedroom and then there's also this bit going to the balcony. 
I also kind of want to do like a big table dining room. Maybe that'd work here. And like I said, I need more storage. So maybe that can go in the corner with no windows, like over here. But we'll leave it at that today. So if you have any ideas, let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.